guys, this is Tuba, I am Seda, and we have Dilara behind the camera. And we are Mathography. And in this video, we're going to be enlightening you on how math is incorporated in our passion, which is photography. In photography, we need to take into consideration the angle of elevation, the angle of depression, and the distance of how far or how close we are to the subject. Angle of elevation. To get the perfect picture, the photographer needs to take the photo at a certain angle to achieve their perfect interpretation of the subject. The subject in this case is made to look powerful. This can be perceived through trigonometry. By using the Sokka-Toa formula, we know we must use tangent to find the angle of elevation. As seen in the image, the line opposite the photographer is the opposite line and the subject is adjacent. So to find the perfect angle, we use the formula T inverse equals O over A. In this case, O is estimated to be 1.5 metres and A to be 2 metres. By substituting these figures into the formula, we can solve the equation. So, 1.5 over 2 is 36.9 degrees. Therefore, the angle of elevation in this instance is 36.9 degrees. The photographer this time is taking the picture on an angle where the subject is aimed to be in a position where it seems less powerful. So, to find out the angle of depression in this image, we use tan inverse. In this case, the opposite is the distance between the photographer and the subject, and the adjacent is the height that the camera is set at. Upon estimation, the distance of opposite is 20 meters, and the adjacent is 6 meters. So, we insert this into the calculator. Tan inverse, bracket 20 divided by 6, which gives us the angle of depression of 73.3 degrees. This is how the angle of elevation and angle of depression is found. To conclude our video, we would now be moving on to another aspect, which is distance. Distance is a common component in both mathematics and photography. In photography, distance is used whilst trying to encompass a large subject into a frame or to recognise the fine details of a subject in a smaller frame. As seen in the video, when Tulba is on the other side of the lake, her appearance is seen more in detail. However, as the distance between Tulba and the camera increases, Tulba becomes less of a subject because the shot now encompasses the beautiful aspects of nature.